Because you ain't doing nothing. Your bones get broken. Your mind get your mind uh, start going away. And you just rock yourself. Let me tell you, anything that's not active will deteriorate. You can buy a house and sit it there. If nobody living in that house, it deteriorates. You can buy a brand new 2017 car and sit it there and don't ever drive it. It deteriorates. See, because it's not active. There's nothing circulating. There's no, see, there's no airflow, no blood flow, no airflow. So you as a human being, why do you think that, why do you think that people say when you, when, when, when they, when they eat, and it's, and it's a common fact that people say when you eat and sit down and do nothing, that's where you gain weight. Because you don't exercise. You see? And so that's what I'm saying. You have to understand, you, well, you're the motivating factor that changes your life. And God is saying, what he's what he given us is a task to go out and work and be about my, what Jesus said, even at 12 years, I must be what? About my father's business. He was working. He's in there trying to get those priests and stuff straight up in there. <laughs> I've been talking now. I've been talking, look at this. This is a smart young man right here. He's 12 years old. But guess what he said? And the Bible said, and Jesus grew up to be a mighty and strong man. Jesus grew up to be a strong man. See? Because he's working. Even though we don't know nothing about him except his birth, two years old, 12 years old, and 30 years old. Then the only time we know about Jesus. We knew about him when he was born. We knew about him when he was two years old, when the wise men came to his house. We knew about him when he got lost. He wasn't lost, but he lost to his mom and dad. We knew he was lost at 12 years old. And then the next time we hear about Jesus is when he came into his ministry at age 30. See? But, but do you think he was sitting down doing nothing all that time? Yeah. But you know, I believe Jesus played the stick ball. <laughs> so we don't like to think about that. He was a kid. <laughs> he had brothers and sisters. You don't think he played with his brothers and sisters? He was a kid. See? So he played with his brothers and sisters. He played with a stick ball and probably a little catch and, you know, and whatever else. You know, I'm sure he did. He was a kid. He wasn't, he wasn't born a grown man, he was born a kid, and he grew up in the Bible said, and he grew up to be a strong and wise man. He grew up to be one. So that means he did stuff that a child do. See, we we think we don't like to think about God. We, we like to think about he, he, the Savior was born, and boom, he came over here 30 years old. And nothing happened between the time he was born and 30 years old. He became a grown man. He didn't play with his brothers and sisters. He didn't go out there and do other stuff. He did. He did other stuff. Yeah. I know you talked about um, if you don't um, do something, you, you won't well, you won't be able to uh, benefit from like if you're just rocking in a chair. Uh, I I always use it. I always say use it or lose it. Which yeah. means which, is, which means your body, your mind, your sense. If you yeah. don't use it, you lose it. And you have to you have to be active, and anything that's not active eventually will take will deteriorate. It doesn't matter what it is. Anything that's not active will deteriorate your body, your mind, whatever it is, will deteriorate. Let me tell you something. When they say reading is fundamental, our children don't read too much. Their thumbs read. They, they got too much thumbs. They got too much thumbs now. You know, their body don't eat. They don't even go outside and play no more. All they want to do is sit up under the TV, sit up under these little games, and their thumbs get all this exercise. And guess what? And, and then most of the games are violent. So now, so, so what you're doing is you're penetrating your mind with body, and you sit up under these games, no exercise. America got the most fattest kids in the world. <laughs> we do. <laughs> we do. Yeah. We do. We do. Serious, in the world. Matter of fact, we're the fattest nation in the world. We are. You know, in the whole world. We are. Because, because we don't get out of exercise. Why do you think about this? Why do you think that, that, that all of these are, are facilities, not exercise facilities, the billion dollar industry? Because that's because, because what they know that that's a way to make money, and they put these little skinny women up on TV for everybody to see, and then everybody goes to all these spas and all this stuff trying to get like them. See, what the thing about it, you just get out and walk. You know, I, I used to hate walking. But I walk now. Not still, not like I should, but I walk. I walk more now because, it, and, and you know, it, it feels a lot better. I feel better. Mm -hmm. One time, I used, to, I used to look at if I could park in the door, I park right <laughs> <laughs> Slide out the passenger side. Right <laughs> I wasn't walking nowhere. 
<laughs> I went walk in the reason I didn't want to track, because wasn't nobody behind me. <laughs> the only run is somebody out there. <laughs> but, but, uh, but see, I never, but you know, after I got older and started walking, it really is good for you. It really is. It really is. It really is. It really good. I think Sylvia asked me one time. She, she asked me, not too long ago, I said, like, why are you park so far from Walmart and walk? <laughs> because I got to get my daily exercise in now. And walking is good. You know, I used to hate it, but I love it now. And don't forget, Pat. Yeah, what well, you were saying about how Jesus life, we got some, when they ask him, hey, isn't this Joseph's son? When, when they, I think they, Jesus said, it's a prophet without, without honoring his own country, his own home. Mm -hmm. The people that was around him, his sisters and brothers, they didn't know that he was, they didn't know that he was well, he he got Christ. As a matter of fact, he got scripture that way his brothers and sisters got mad at mm -hmm. because 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 and what he said was what happened was they say this Joseph the carpenter's son. See, because see today a carpenter is a, is a good craft, but back then a carpenter a carpenter was a low life job. Mm -hmm. See, we see today as a good craft, mm -hmm. not back then. That's reversed. Okay. Huh? I, I thought it was reversed, Pastor. The, back then, a carpenter was like being a doctor or a, or no, a, or a politician. Because you were saying that, that, that Jesus' parents wasn't broke. They were carpenters and they make good money. This is just the end was full. Not that they couldn't afford it. I, thought they were... I said they made a living. But a carpenter, but, but, you, but see, that's just like right now. You got people got jobs out there today that make good money, but, they, but what people call, uh, they still call it a low life job. You know, people that do um, certain work, people that people that work on on on, on the trash trucks. You see, and you got some you got some states where people that work on the trash truck make more money than the average person. But still, it's but still is considered a menial job. So what I'm saying is, I'm not saying they didn't make money, but I'm saying it was considered a menial job. Uh, you know what a carpenter used to be. But just being a carpenter, because they used to build tables and chairs. See, it wasn't always just buildings, but see, they also built tables, chairs, and all kind of mm -hmm. other stuff. You see, like now, I think that's separate now. You know, a carpenter now, you know, they, they call it what? Well, they, they call it what? They call it contractors, cabinet workers who build yes. cabinets and chairs and stuff. But see, back then, a carpenter did it all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he had to. 